Today I'm going to be wiring up this new time delay relay that I bought off of eBay. This was sold by IJDM Toys. What it is, it's a, just their standard relay but it's got a 10 second delay on for it. It's uh, for most of people that have HIDs or on their motorcycles or on their cars that have auto on function. You, you want to preserve your um, ballast and your bulbs and all that so that it doesn't fire on when you're in the garage and then you start the car and back up in bright daylight and then your HIDs are on for like 10 or 15 seconds and then they shut off. So this will at least prevent that from happening. If you start your car and then back up within 10 seconds, your car should be able to keep up. Um, so, uh, I got this for, I think it was listed for $17 or something on eBay. So it looks like a made in China. It's potted pretty well. You know, it's water sealed and weather sealed potted. So there's not going to get get water or anything inside to damage it. Um, it all it came with, with the relay cube by itself. Nothing new, you know, not, no wire harness, nothing like that included with it. And if you already have an, an HID relay that has one of these um, blocks, you could just pull out the old one and put in this one. But for what I'm doing, I've already got a, a relay all set up in the car and it's a dual relay for each side. So I'm just gonna use this time delay to activate those two relays. So I've what I'm using for a harness is your standard five pin relay harness. Um, the, I got this in a set with a bunch of other regular standard relays that when I do my car stuff and um, <clears throat> that I had, you know, I bought a five pack and I still got a bunch of relays laying around but I just needed these harnesses. Uh, this came with five wires. I actually pulled out the center wire since I didn't need that for this application because that's for, um, you know, when... Um, when the relay is at rest, that, that's the contact point, which we're not gonna use here. And my other thing is part of my HID relay, um, it comes with this H11 to 9006 adapter. So I can, um, you know, it's just a little jumper between my harness and the, that, the HID harness I got from TRS. But what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna cut this up. I'm gonna splice it into here. Um, and kind of just basically put the relay between this this guy and then uh, solder it and heat shrink it together and then put it in there. Got done soldering the last spot. Just sure when I just solder, I just make sure that the solder penetrates and gets holds it together. Uh, the ground wire I already connected that, and the ground wire I didn't really have to cut. I could have just spliced it and, and wrapped it in, but I cut it in half and then heat shrinked it. So, and then the other one is this is basically the trigger. You know, wire after the time delay that goes into the harness. So, just gonna slide this heat shrink on, hit it with some uh, with a heat gun, and then this thing should be ready to go. Got my heat gun ready. I laid it down here. I'm just gonna hit it for 10 seconds or so with the heat gun, and it 
should get everything nice and clean. Now that I got everything soldered, heat shrinked, and looking good, and trying to make all my installs OEM as possible, I'm using some wire loom. I'm gonna put some wire loom onto there. I'm gonna use some this 3M 33 plus electrical tape. This is probably one of the best electrical tapes you're gonna use. You don't use any of that cheap dollar store Walmart crap that uh, dies. Um, and peels off after a while. This is, you know, OEM quality. It's going to actually, you know, it's flexible and it, st it sticks because it's 3M. And then on top of that, I'm also going to use this. Um, it's like a fabric tape that I got from TRS um, to make it look even more OEM and uh, that's So now I've got this all wired up, everything's in here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn the lights on and test the time delay. So the lights, headlights are on, fog lights are on, 10 second time delay and they fire right up, perfect.